Oh boy. It's already a new voting gauntlet, guys. Can you believe that? It just feels like it's been three weeks? Two weeks? Actually, I think it actually is three weeks ago that we had our last voting gauntlet. It's coming back real quick. I can't say I care about it any more than I did before. If anything, with each voting gauntlet, I care even less about it. Still, I always appreciate the free feathers it gives and the free orbs. So here we go. We're, I'm never going to say no to free free stuff. Of course, it is Marf vs. Harden, which is the same game. This is legit. Same with uh, YouTube Demonetization versus Arvis, which is, of course, the same game. Ephraim vs. Leon, this is wrong. They're the best couple. They have many beautiful children together. And then, you know, Ike vs. Zelgius, which is uh, not really canon either because uh, Ike should be dead before he gets to Zelgius. The Black Knight should have just, you know, killed G Gawain and then killed Ike. Uh, wait a second, I'm not supposed to be talking about that stuff. Alright, guys, um, I actually have no idea who I'm gonna back. I might back. To be honest, I don't really care who wins, <laughs> so... Um, I'm not a particular f fan of any protagonist in any of the Fire Emblem games, right? I like Marth, to a degree, but I actually don't like him whenever I played the game. I like Marth more from his Smash side, for example. Harden is real cool and all, but... You know, the Coyote is always just the Coyote to me. And I don't think you really get to this point of the game unless you get to... The Japanese game after Shadow Dragon, which, you know, I don't think it was ever translated. And then YouTube the monetization, SIG RD versus Arvis. I've never even played the game, and not I don't think I would like him anyways. And then Ephraim versus Leon. I, I do kinda like Ephraim though. Crap. And then Ike versus Zelgius. I actually really like Zelgius, so. Man, this sucks for me, because this entire voting gauntlet. I'm gonna have to back people I don't have any particular feelings with. Like of all the voting gauntlets, this is the one I think I have the least amount of feelings for. Like, I just don't have it in my heart to say, I want you to win. And that's how it is for me. I I'm sorry to be a downer, guys. It's just... Yeah. To be honest, guys, I would have much, 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 much preferred to have a summer versus summer banner voting gauntlet. And I think the only reason I just didn't do that was because it would be too easy, too predictable. So that they didn't do it but that would have been a lot more fun than this for me personally now on the good side at the very 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 minimum we get to have another male winner which is very rare in all of voting gauntlets i believe the only male winner so far has been ike correct it's not because i can't choose a girl or something like that it's just because of all the games i've played i don't have any particular feelings for any of them except for ephraim i like ephraim slightly and i i like leon Though, that just makes it hard for me to say I want either of them to win, because I like kind of like them both. Grimma won too. Oh yeah, Grimma won. Leon looks like a girl. Leon is a girl. They, they make the best couple. <laughs> okay, my bad. It's, but that's what I mean. At least, at very least, another male is going to win. One of the biggest complaints with a lot of these voting goblins is that a male will never win. They usually get slaughtered. So. Alright, I'm just going to tell you guys now. I'm going to go with what I believe is going to lose. I'm gonna back the one girl in all of this voting gauntlet. Uh, I am the demon king. My fiance, Leon. <laughs> no. Uh, I'm gonna back Leon. The reason why I'm gonna back Leon is I actually do like Leon quite a bit. Not to mention, I like him in this game quite a bit as well. He's my green mage counter, and he's also my. Uh, he's also my. Well, he counters red mages as well. He's my green and red mage counter. I have, and he is my archer counter as well. That is, except for, well, even, it would have felt really bad if for whatever reason you couldn't counter uh, Legendary Lin, but Legendary Lin's uh, green, so he covers that. So he covers all the archers so far in the game, and green mages, so. Uh, I actually have him fully built, and I like him a lot, and I think he's going to lose to Ephraim. So here we go, that's what I'm going back. Alright, so we just got to get Ephraim out. Take out your Ephraims, guys. Yeah, see? He's not bad. 48 attack, 21 speed, 26 defense, 31 res. TAQR 3, drive res 2, Noglifer. Pretty, pretty good guy. Alright, here we go. If he, if he pulls it off, if Leon pulls this off, I'll be happy for him. 
just because I get the 500 extra feathers. But if he doesn't pull it off, I won't be upset. I know Ephraim is incredibly popular. After all, Ephraim is our CYL2 winner on the male side, along with Hector. And if I had to project it, I think it's between... I think Marth would be the strong... Would be incredibly strong coming from the left side. Because Genealogy has not been translated officially. Or it might have been, I don't know. But it wasn't in its heyday, so nobody really has that connection. Marth through Smash as well. I think he has a popularity to win there. Harden, again, is from a game that wasn't translated. It was fan translated. So, Marth, just by being as popular as he is, and against characters that have been, are in games that have never been translated formally, he should win the left side. I think Ephraim is the most popular character on the right side. Ike is also very po popular, but Zelgius will give him a nice fight. People do like the Black Knight in Zelgius pretty, uh, pretty much. And with, you know, bonus shenanigans, Ephraim, it's between Ephraim, Ike, or Zelgius is what I would say. Leon, I just don't think he has a chance, but I'm still backing him because I like him. Who cares about popularity when you have X7 bonus? And look at this, guys. This is where Leon shines when he's up against this kind of crap because of Noglifer. It is effective against Colorless, and with TA, he will slaughter this. That's that's one of the best things about him when you... That's why I made him. He's my Brave Link counter for my Arena Assault teams. And we even have a healer. How fortunate is that? Who's okay. my friend? Silva. Alright. Silva, your build is still really weird. Yes. Alright, yes. here we go. Here I go. Nog Ulfur. Are you sure? Okay, I'll just say whatever you want. Look at that attack. Leon is too cool. I'm such a big fan of Leon. Alright. Alright. You lead, I As you will. One times two. That's how good he is at the anti archer. My caring heart has died. My caring heart has died, yeah. 63. Yeah, he's so good. Lini is still so pretty. She still has the best death, best death cry. I actually don't know if she has the best death cry. I don't have music on, so I can't actually hear, hear her. But you guys could hear, could hear her. Anyways, that's just the first battle. We'll see if the first hour determines anything. But if anything, I think Leon is going to have trouble uh, winning this. So that's a lot of shit <laughs> to press through. Doggy was my was the person supporting us. It is nice, actually. Okay, Exalt. Reckless, you were also trying to make a plus 10 Corrin? Silva's uh, Corrin's kind of weird, though. So I wouldn't really suggest people build it like that, but it, it's not exactly bad. Anyways, guys, please let me know what you think about the voting gauntlet. I know this voting gauntlet has been in the news for a while now, and I just haven't talked about it because, honestly, again, guys, I'm sorry. I hate to be a downer. It's just... With each voting gauntlet, I just care less and less. The only thing I care about are the orbs and feathers that I get out of it. I hate the fact that we're being like this. It's just, when it comes to voting gauntlets, they just don't do a good enough job. It's not balanced at all, and they haven't changed anything. So, it's not the most popular character that wins. And people are like, okay, well, if it's the most popular character that wins, it's boring. But at the same time, if the most popular character consistently loses, and that's what's been happening, all you do is piss off the majority of people, and then you completely get people to go into this just for the rewards. So then nobody cares. Voting Gauntlet has been done pretty badly. It needs to be rebalanced if they actually want people to care. And they haven't done that, unfortunately. So I'm... At this point, I'm one of those jaded people who just want rewards. That's it. We need more Voting Gauntlets. I think if we have more Voting Gauntlets, it would just be for more free rewards. Who really cares anymore is what I would say. But yeah, guys, let me know who you are backing, who is your favorite, and who you think will be the surprise winner. Surprise winner, as in, like, you, nobody ever expects. The reason, Another reason why I back Leon is I secretly think Leon has a chance of making it out. Secretly. If everybody, if all the Feather Mercenaries goes to Leon, he might win on the, on the right side, at the very least. He's the sleeper hit, I think.
I think we only care about